Yo, y'all know who it is, man. Chase Vibes. As y'all can see from the title, today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make unique loops in the style of like Q Beats, you know, Travis Scott, Young Thug, Baby Keem, etc., etc. I'm gonna be breaking down a loop uh, from my new sample library called Celestial. It's available on Drumify.com right now. Link in the description on one of these little pop-up links. Uh, but with that being said, let's just go ahead and get into breaking down the loop. Alright y'all, so quick announcement, we're actually doing a big Black Friday deal on the Drumify website. Get some of your favorite producer sound kits for up to 40% off. This is going to be the best deal of the year, so y'all make sure y'all stop on the website quick. Pick up one of your favorite producer's kits for a super good deal. Uh, just go crazy, man. So, yep, that was it. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Alright, so right here in my Celestial Sample Library, it contains 27 unique loops. Alright, and this is the loop that we're going to be breaking down. A little preview um, I call this st. Laurent chains just something different um, but yeah so it may look complicated just because there's a lot of wave files but I promise you it's not let's just go ahead and drag this out of the way and then mute it with this little mute button over here now let's go ahead and unmute all of these basically what all these wave files are is just like me like manipulating like sounds that I already have just give it like a more unique feeling um, I'm just gonna go ahead and break it down one by one for y'all just to kind of make it more simple so to start I went ahead and got this one shot from Nami called Music Box Signature. It's one of my favorite one shots to use. Uh, this is just a basic melody that I came up with. As you can see, some of the notes are a little off the grid. That's just giving a more like humanized feeling. Um, then after that, I went ahead and just sent it to the Mitzer channel. I went ahead and put on Sketch Cassette preset a little age and I just went ahead and messed with some of the flutter knobs turned down the hiss turned up the use tape type 2 standard and then this is what it sounds like with without it versus with it just makes it more like antique I guess you could say vintage so next up after that what I went ahead and added was this like weird like drifting away one shot bell I guess you could call it sounds like that so together, it's what they sound like. Pretty simple. Next up, I went ahead and added like this nice counter melody, I guess you could say. Uh, it's a glass pluck. Uh, this is what it sounds like. cool little melody as you can see I kept it pretty simple just a chord right here some little transitional notes leading into D sharp I just repeated that over a step over here I went ahead and added F sharp and then for the effects on this I just put a little age preset I turned it up the used have it on type 2 standard um and then after that what I went ahead and did was add this texture from only one that so next I got this nice little one-shot stab right here stutter synth and it was out of key from our melody so I went ahead and pitched it up one to put it in C sharp and then I panned it to the side to the left and I pitched it down an octave just to make it a little bit lower this is what it sounded like before but I wanted it lower so then this one I have it panning to the right I pitched it up a half step just so we could go to C sharp then I pitched this one down two octaves, so this one sounds lower, right here. I just like the way that that went with our melody, so let's listen to everything together. Just like a nice ad set in the back, I guess you could say. So after that, what I went ahead and did was I recorded this melody right here into its own separate wave file so i went ahead and pressed record i did option r because i'm on mac or alt r i believe if you're on windows that just turned it into a wave file 
and basically all that I did was just reverse it so go ahead and speed it this is what we got originally just like that but I went ahead and stretched it out and then reversed it and I also went ahead and messed with the pitch right here so as you can see went ahead and just pitched it down two cents I have this down at, I have this at two cents right here and then I did an automation clip on the pitch wheel and I just had it slightly go down like very very slightly you gotta pay like very close attention it's very like subtle and then next I went ahead and added a uh, channel automation clip for the volume just to kind of make it go down so just like that cool next up we got this sound right here it's a cool little like this is just a pluck just so together it's what everything sounds like so far so that's basically that melody the next up we're gonna move on over here to the second part of the intro as you can see I took away this bots i moved this over here but i made it unique because i pitched this one down an octave so now it's lower so we listen everything just feels more slower and as you can see over here this is the stretched out stretched out version of this right here that's just not reversed so this is reversed this one isn't reversed this is what you get them together it's a very weird like sound and then it goes back into the mallets so this is basically just me like how i arrange the loop so we got like the intro we got the hook and then the verse right here All this down here is just miscellaneous sounds of like these up here so we don't have to worry about those but yeah so basically nets what i went ahead and did was just put a fruity soft clipper on my master that's basically that so yeah thank you guys for watching this tutorial i'll make sure to play the full loop at the end of the video uh once again thank you guys for watching i love y'all if you guys want to show me any support make sure to check out my new kits on uh, drumify.com i'll have the link in the description one of these little links up here Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Chase Vibes. Make sure to follow Splitmine as well. Uh, make a comment below what your favorite part of this video was or what you guys want to see me make more of in the future. Uh, so yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm out.